What's good, YouTube? AfroX here. About to hit up this UFC online gameplay. A lot of y'all been asking me to do it for a while, so here you go. First time ever. About to get this black belt. All weight classes. I'm about to hit it up. About to knock people out. About to get submissions. About to hit them with the fro. Y'all know what it is. Here we go. Now, I know load times in this game can be crazy, y'all. Absolutely crazy. But hey, it is what it is. Still loading. The fuck? Really? Oh, I'm calling EA. Hello, and thank you for calling EA Customer Service. My name is John, and I'm here to assist you today. What seems to be the problem, sir? What's good, John? Yeah, I was just calling real quick to uh, let y'all know that my EA Sports online wasn't working. I was trying to figure out what I could do to fix it real quick. We here at EA understand your concerns, sir. Have you tried powering off and powering on the device? Yeah, John. I did like three power cycles. I uninstalled and reinstalled the game. I unlinked my gamer tag. I relinked my gamer tag. I did the damn nay nay with the damn Xbox. Returned my Xbox. Got a new Xbox. Shit still don't work, so I was wondering what y'all could do for me. Well, sir, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear that, but it sounds like a user issue and not an issue on our end. So it is definitely not a broken game. What I could do, though, is take that information and send it up. I don't want you to send my damn information. I want this damn thing fixed. I understand, sir. Please hold. We're sorry. The number you oh, have hell dialed nah. is not in service at this time. Fuck EA. Fuck customer service. Fuck John. About to light it up. Yeah, so if y'all got screwed over by EA like I did, I'm about to show you some things to help out. First thing y'all want to do is go to the wireless router IP, which is 192.168.1.254. So once you get here to the main page of your router, you see the options here, broadband, home network, voice, and firewall, and diagnostics. Click on firewall. Okay, once you get there, you want to go to NAT slash gaming. Alright y'all, so once you get here, we're going to do a little bit of port forwarding. So the ports you want to open up will be listed in the description, but y'all can pause the video and look here at the ports I opened up to help play EA Sports UFC. So take your time, you know, write it down, do, take a screenshot, do what you need to do, but these are the ports you need to open up. It's important. It's not the only step, but it's an important step. Alright, so to add your own custom port, we need to go to Custom Services under Manage, manage Custom Services. Alright, so these are all the ones I opened up. Basically what to do there is just for your own personal preference, enter the name of the port. So, for example, for the EA ports, I put an EA Sports UFC, and I put the global ports that was unlisted on their website's hook page. In addition to the Xbox Live ports, you can look those up online, or again, or you can just pause the video and look at mine, because they're all right there in front of you. So, yeah, do that. Alright, now, it's important that both of these are selected. Not one individual, but both of them. It's important. Click add and return to the page. All right, y'all. So once you get there, you should see a uh, box to your right. You can click on that, and uh, you can select the uh, port name and the device you want to open the port for. So click EA Sports, for example, UFC, and then click your Xbox. Click save and add, and you're good to go for the port forwarding. So do all these ports like I just said, and you should be good for that. Alright, next thing on the list here is IP pass-through. This is really important, especially for AT&T U-verse. I cannot stress this enough. So, by default, it's usually off. But what you need to go is to default server. 
Once you get there, on the manual entry, enter in your Xbox Xbox's IP address. You can find this in the settings network tab of your Xbox One. After that, go to Home Network. Once you click on Home Network, click on Configure. This is a really important part. I cannot stress this enough. And what you want to do is you want to disable your IPv6. For some reason, this causes a big problem when trying to connect online EA Sports UFC. Once you do that, you should be set to go. Save it takes about five minutes for the thing to update after you turn it off, but after that, you should be good to go. Alright y'all, well I hope the video helped y'all out tremendously. I hope y'all can get online and start playing UFC with me. If it works for y'all, please share the video. It's important that other people know how to fix this. It's really important y'all. So anyway, subscribe to the channel, grow your fro out, become part of the fro nation and fro family. I'm out y'all, peace.